Hi, I'm Dami from eLearning Channel Museum. How's your practice going? Is it coming along? Or do you need more time to finishing up the song? That's okay, don't worry about it. This week, we're going to focus on music theory, specifically identifying major and minor chords and their differences. We only learned about major and minor chords from the previous lesson. Do you remember? Yes, C chord means start from the C and build it above by skipping it, right? Just like this, from the C, skip, skip, so line to line. And if it's a D, you start from the D, bottom note, and build it above the notes by skipping it. Skip, skip, like this, right? And what about E? Start from the E, skip, skip. So it is the same subsequence chords. If it's a line, then you will build it above line and line. If it's a space, you will build it above space to space. So that's the chord. And chord name coming from the very bottom note. That's the root we chord. We all already know. Now, today, we're going to add major and minor to this. Let's see how it goes. The most important difference of major and minor chord is the middle note. Now, from the very bottom to the middle note, of course, if you see it, we have three notes, right? Bottom is the root, which is chord name, and middle note and top one. So it consists of three notes. Now, the key is the middle note. From bottom note to the middle note, if it consists of four half step, then that's major chord. Oh, it's really confusing, right? I will show you. Let's see. From the C to four half step going up. So, one, two, three, four. That's four half step. And from middle note to the top note, supposed to be three half step. That's what the C chord is. What about the minor? Then the middle note is going to be half step down. So it's three half step. Do you see it? One, two, three half step. Then from here to that one, the very top note, it's going to be four half step, changing to four half step. So one, two, three, four. That's what the minor is. It's really confusing at the first time. Just remember, bottom and the very top note doesn't change. It stays the same. Only the middle note is deciding whether major chords or minor chords. So if it's a major, like this. One, two, three, four half step. And if it's a minor, the middle note goes down, half step down. Why? Because one, two, three half step. That's how you can figure it out. You still don't know, right? That's okay. Let's see another example. What about in D? Definitely skip and skip to space. That's the chord. Now we have to figure it out. Is this major or minor? Let's see. From bottom to the middle note, how many half steps do we have here? One, two, three. Then minor. Then to be a major, what do we have to change? We need a four, so we have to go one step higher to be four half steps. Do you get it? So this is D major. And nothing changed at the top note. Just stay there. Only the difference is the middle note changing it. Now that's major. And coming down is minor. The most important difference of major and minor chord is the major chord has four steps in between the root and the second note, while minor has only three half steps. 
Do you get it? Yes, now let's see another example. What about in E? From the bottom E, you built it up above. Skip, skip, so line, line, line. Now the first one and then the top one never change. Only the difference is what? The middle note. Let's see. To be a major chord, you need four half steps. So from here to one, two, three. So if it's a three, that's the minor, E minor chord. So when we write it E minor, we don't write it anything but just skip, skip, skip. But to be major, we need four half steps. So we have to move this middle note to right side to be a four half steps. Do you get it? Yes, then what do we need to be a major chord? Sharp at the middle. Why? From the G to going one more half step up, it's a sharp. What if we use a flat? Oh, then it goes down and how many half steps it will be? One, two only, which is not even E minor chord, right? So E minor and E major. Yes, we need G natural as minor and G sharp as major. Do you get it? Let's practice more. What about in an F? Start from the F and you're skipping up. So space, space, space. This will be the F chord. Now we have to figure it out. Is it F major or F minor? Let's see. We need four half step to be a major. Let's count. One, two, three. So that will be F minor chord, but four. So F, A, C without any sharps or flat is F major. What about minor? Then, do you remember? That was minor. So we need flat to go down. Sharp is going up, that one. We need flat to go down to be three half step. So middle note flat is F minor. And we write it this way. Do you get it? So in all keys, how many do we have? Let's see. Start from the C. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven half steps. Now from bottom to middle note is four half step. And middle note to top is three half step. Four, three is major chord. And from bottom to middle note is three half step. And middle note to the top is four half step is minor chords. Do you get it? Yes, so never change the seven from bottom to top. Only difference is the middle note. It depends on the middle note is changing three and four. The middle note to the top will be changed the distance to. Now it's kind of easy, right? What about B? B is the same. From the B and you built it above. Line to line to another line. But here is a trick. B has many half steps compared to other. Other chords has only one Y key half steps. This one only one Y key half step. One Y key. And F has only one Y key. G has only one Y key. A has only one Y key. But B has two Y key section. So this is the only exception that you have to remember. Now, to be a chord, either it has to be 4-3 major chord or 3-4 to be a minor chord. But in B chords, if you see it, how many half steps do we have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 
six only. From bottom to top, we only have six half steps. To be a chord, it has to be at least seven half steps. So top note has to move one more half step up. So to be up, we need a sharp. So that's at least the B chord. We don't know what it is. Is it major or minor? But still, to be a B chord, we need F sharp. So from here to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's what the B chord. And to be a major and minor, the middle note is deciding. So let's see from here to one, two, three. That's B minor chord. And definitely one more half step up is B major chord. Do you get it? It's kind of confusing. At the very beginning, it's really, really confusing. So the fastest way to figure it out the chord is first you write the root and build it above. Skip and skip. No matter what, sharp or flat, that's okay. Forget about the sharps or forget about the flats. Just from the line to line to line or space to space to space, you built it above the notes. And then after that, you have to think about it. From bottom to top, we need seven half step to be a chord. So if it's a C chord, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so bottom to top is a seven. And then the middle note, if it's a three half step, it will be minor. And if it's four half step, it will be the major. That's how you figure it out. For today's homework, I will post an exercise to figure it out, the chord. So I want you to do the workout sheet and also play it on the piano. For example, just you pick any note and then try to figure it out. So from the A, seven half step we need. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's the top note. And then if you want it A major, then the middle note will be one, two, three, four. Uh-huh. That's the A major chord. And if you want it D minor, then start from the D and first to figure it out the seventh note. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And we have to decide minor to be minor, three half step. One, two, three, the middle note. Yes, that's how you find it, the chord. What about in G? Yes, definitely G. And skip up and up and build it up, evolve. Line to line, right? That's simple. Let's figure it out from bottom to middle note, how far they are. One, two, three, four. So this is G major chord. What about to be a G minor? What do we need? Definitely coming down, half step down, becomes smaller. So we need flat, be flat like this. So G minor is flat on the middle note and we write it small letter like this, right next to the capital letter B. Got it? If you're still having trouble figuring out the chord, let me know. I will help you out. I hope this lesson doesn't make you that confusing. And we'll figure it out soon. And we will see you next week. Bye.